Hey, what's going on guys? Ben here from Tactical Civilian. And in today's video, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a new little gadget that I got over Black Friday. We're gonna be going on ahead and throwing it on the TAN AR here, but I got the, it's kind of hard to see on the packaging, but it's the Tacticon Armament Battle Torch V3. And so let's hop into the unboxing. Alright guys, so let's go on ahead and hop into the unboxing of the Battle Torch V3. Right off the bat, it came in a very thick and very nice heavy duty cardboard box with all the information etched out on the front, which was a nice little bonus. Right on the top, you, cut, you get your lifetime warranty registration card, as well as a laminated owner's manual, which I thought was just a nice little touch. It shows that they care about their products. Got a little bit of a description about what the flashlight is and all of that with some features, specs, and then how to charge the battery. On the back, you have all the different configurations and pieces of the flashlight, as well as how to mount it, installation, and operation. If we remove the foam on the top, you can see everything's laid out very nice and neatly in the box. Here we got the Battle Torch V3 itself. I went with the bronze version. You can get it in black or bronze. I just figured the bronze would look pretty nice with the tan AR platform that I already have. Next up, you can see here that it also comes with a touch pad. This was the main selling point for me. I've always wanted a touch pad on my AR, so I'm excited about that. Here is going to be your just 90 degree offset mount if you just want to mount it to your rail instead of on top of your Picatinny rail. Of course, here is also the battery, so that way you can recharge it and reuse this thing, which is a good bonus that I like. And then obviously the charging station and the cable. The battery just slides into the bottom here, and it just kind of clicks into place, and it shows you positive and negative and all that good jazz. And then finally in the box, we have a Allen key for installation and a cube. Now, give me just a second, I'm going to set up my super high-tech workbench. Now, if you, don't have a, if you don't have a vise and a clamp to throw your rifle into, just a standard cardboard box will work great for you. It's what I got at the time right now, so that's what we're going to be using. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to place the rifle into the box with the butt stock firmly pressed up against it, and then all I'm going to do is cinch down my butt stock, and now I have a good level working space to work on my rifle. All right guys, so first things first, what you're gonna wanna be mostly looking at is where exactly do you wanna place your battle torch, flashlight, whatever you wanna call it. You need to figure out exactly the placement of where you wanna put it, and then also you have to keep in mind that it also comes with the 90 degree mount as well, so if you don't like the 45 degree offset, you can take this off, put the 90 degree one on there, and then you can just mount it straight to the side. I think for now, just to start, we're gonna stick with the 45 degree offset mount and see how it goes. All right guys, and so before we go on ahead and get started, I'm gonna go on ahead and take this sling mount off, that way we just have all of our rail space to work with. Um, also, I'm sure you guys are itching out, what is the price of this flashlight? How much is it gonna cost me? Now that's where I actually wanted to talk to you about it a little bit is because Tacticon Armament, their whole brand, their whole company is based on getting, um, getting you, the civilian, the normal person, very well made, well built, well manufactured uh, gun parts and accessories and that sort of thing at an affordable price. Now for example, this V3 Battle Torch from them, it's going to cost you $149.99 uh, on their website. Um, I got this on Black Friday, so I was able to pick it up for 50% off, so I got it for 75 bucks. I thought that was an amazing deal, and so far, just off of feeling it, um, it feels like a really well-built product, so as, as long as it stands up to the testing that I put it through um, throughout the next couple of years, then it'll be a great product in my book. However, what I do love is that unlike Surefire and Olight and all these other brands that you hear of, they're charging you two, three hundred, four hundred dollars for a flashlight where you're going to be getting a great flashlight with all of the cool little gadgets and switches and everything 
for a fraction of the price. And so that's why I love this company. And so what we're gonna be doing here is I'm just loosening this up so that way I can see if we can fit it onto the rail system here. And so it looks like I'm gonna have to take this screw out in order to do that. And so just making sure I'm not losing anything. So I'm gonna go on ahead and not be too, too critical. And I'm gonna put it, I don't want it too far forward, but I also don't want it too far back. And so right about there looks to be like a good position that I would like it to be in. And so now I'm just gonna slowly thread that Allen screw back in. And then now that I got it pretty tightened up, we don't wanna go too tight, but you also don't want it to be too loose. And so while I'm tightening it down here, I'm looking on both sides of my rails, making sure every piece of it stayed where I wanted it to as I make my final tight. And so now it looks to be in a good position, so I'll just triple check it, make sure I got it nice and tight on there. And so there we go. It's probably a little more tight than it needed to be, but now we got that on there nice and secure. So now I just kind of threw my touch pad on here just to see if I would have it in somewhat of a nice position of where I want it to be. And so uh, once I started to just get behind the rifle, I noticed that I would need my touch pad to be a lot more farther up. And so that's why I didn't want to secure it down quite yet or anything like that. And so I'm going to go on ahead and remove this. And then I'm going to go on ahead and move my flashlight up just a little bit more. There, it's nice and secure now. And so now we're gonna take a look at inst uh, and installing this pad switch here. And so how you do that is you're gonna go on ahead and just like any normal flashlight, unscrew the back end. Once you got the back end unscrewed, you can go on ahead, take this guy here, and just so that I'm not wrapping my cable around, I'm gonna take a mental note of where this is at. So it's one in front of T26. Take that off. And then I'm just gonna go on ahead and thread this on. That way I'm just not turning this cable around a bunch of times. And so now that's nice and secured on there. And then I'm gonna make sure that I put this back on where it was. All righty. You'll unscrew the front end of the flashlight and that's how you're gonna put the battery in there. Yeah, nothing. We don't got any juice in there, that's okay. Just wanted to give you guys a closer up look of how it looks now being on the rifle. All right, so now guys, we're gonna go on ahead and charge the battery up. And so it comes with everything you need to charge the battery over and over again. Comes here with that charging cable. We're gonna go on ahead and plug that into here. And then on the actual battery charger itself, I don't know if you guys can see, but it shows that the positive side is gonna go up here. Negative side is gonna go down here. And then this has three different little slits on it and it kind of shows you when it's gonna be charged. The manual states that it takes approximately two hours for the battery to fully charge. And so I'm just gonna go on ahead and plug this guy in. All right, yeah, and so now it's kind of hard to tell actually, but it shows that we have one little power bar. So we're gonna go on ahead and let that sit for a couple hours and let the battery charge up. All right, guys, so here we go. I got it all set up and everything like that. I ended up actually moving the flashlight farther up on the rail mount, just so that way, once I'm actually activating and turning on my flashlight, I'm not gonna be casting any kind of shadow beam off of the muzzle of my rifle. And so as you can see, I got it pretty much in line with the muzzle of my rifle there, so we're not casting any kind of shadow or anything like that. 
but with it all set up on here i like the way it looks so far when you're shouldering up behind the rifle it feels very nice and i enjoy the way it feels so far i still gotta play around with this wire right here and kind of figure out a way to tie it down and secure it out of the way a little bit better but for now it's all right all right guys so i went on ahead and pulled the battery off the charger here and i just wanted to show you guys a nice close-up right here on the side of the flashlight it'll show you that the positive end is going to be towards the front and then the negative end is going to be towards the back and i like that they got it printed right there just so you don't forget and so let me go on ahead and get you secured back up in the tripod and so the battery actually goes into the front of the flashlight so we're going to take the lens off here and then negative facing outward slide that battery in and then we're going to go on ahead and re-thread the front end of it on and then just make sure it's a good finger tight and then we'll give it a test real quick all right so this is a little awkward for me to film but here it is all set up on the rifle here and so on your touchpad here this right here is just like i said it's a touchpad so when i click it the light will come on and when i release it'll turn off on off on off and then the circle up here you can click it to then just be your normal utility light and then click it back off all right so now i want to show you guys what it looks like in the dark so real quick i'm going to get in position here and then i'm just going to hit that touchpad and show you guys immediately lights up the entire room it doesn't do it as good a justice on camera the entire room is lit up and then when i let go of the touchpad lights out click it on normal utility light click it back off and now what i really like about the touchpad is it's actually really sensitive and it's got a really good response time and so you're actually able to use a strobe as well if you can get a good click going so now I'm gonna go on ahead and walk down here and I'm just gonna show you what the strobe would look like on the receiving end pretty sure you couldn't see me even now working this way, I just wanna show you guys another dark hallway. As you guys can see, it's completely pitch black. Now let's go on ahead and hit this touchpad. There we go. Just immediately illuminates everything in its path. Super bright, very clear, very high quality. Love the way the touchpad feels. Actually doesn't add too much weight onto the end of your rifle and that strobe goes crazy as well just another little angle for you guys here so going down the staircase immediately lights it up if i hear something in the middle of the night i come around the corner little little peek can help me illuminate whatever i need to see in case if anything was going on in the middle of the night all right guys, so I think that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys did enjoy this week's video of my unboxing and review of the Battle Torch V3 from Tacticon Armament. I'm gonna go on ahead and leave a link down below so you guys can check out and pick up one of these exact Battle Torches for yourself. Put them on your rifle, see how it works. Overall, I give this thing an eight out of 10. I absolutely love it. Customer service, website, everything with this company is top notch, so I could not recommend them enough go on ahead and check them out. Also, I just wanted to say we just hit 400 subscribers on the channel and I just wanted to say thank you to every single one of you that have hit that subscribe button. It honestly means the world to me and I love that you guys keep watching my videos and enjoy them. So I'm gonna continue to make these videos for you guys. And so I think that's all I got for you guys. Go on ahead and hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. I'm Ben from Tactical Civilian and I'll see you guys next time.